In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your NA10 installation via a Docker Compose file, like I'm doing here. Uh, the re reason we're going to do it this way instead of like m many other videos out there might be using a Docker desktop, a graphical UI. I think this is uh, easier actually. And not only that, but this is what's mostly used in most self-hosting platforms out there like Coolify, Docploy, Elestio, and so on. They usually use a Docker Compose file in the background for managing the NATN installation. And by doing it this way, you will learn how you can do it on those platforms as well, because they also offer you, they usually offer you how to, uh, an option to edit your Docker Compose file and update anything that way. So basically after following this tutorial, you'll be able to update your anything instance on basically any so self-hosting platform. All right, so with that said, let's get started. So here I have uh, my current anything installation. If you click here on learn about NA10, you see that this is version 1.106.2 and we want to update to the newest version. So the first step here is open up our Docker Compose file. I have mine open here already. It's inside this directory here, Docker Compose. So this is basically all I need to manage my NA10 installation and update it and so on. So I have already opened up the file here. Uh, I will also open up a terminal inside of this directory to manage the Docker Compose file. So the first step now is inside of our Docker Compose file is to look for our NA10 service. So under services here, you are gonna have to look for your NA10 service and to find your service, you're not gonna look for the name like, like down here, but what you want to look for is the image and that the image is an NA10 image. So it should have this na10io slash na10 part in the image. That's your na10 service because this part here, the name of the service is something you define yourself. So it could be anything. It doesn't really uh, identify the, the na10 image or the na10 service. So this is the part you want. All right. And here you see we have a version number. This is what we're going to change to update our na10 installation. This version number might not always exist. It might look something like this. And we will not have a version number. In this case, it will automatically pull a version, usually the latest stable version. It might also have stable like that. But yeah, what we want is to specify the version number because I found that these ways don't always give you what you expect. So yeah, the specify the version number. That's what we want to do. And by that, that way we can downgrade and upgrade as we want. So to find a version number, we're going to open up a browser, new browser tab, and we're going to search for NA10 releases. And we're going to go into this page, release notes. And here you will find all the different NA10 releases, the version numbers and different information. You can see that the newest version right now, here is this one, latest and next version. So the current is 1.108.2. And then the next version is 1.109. So the next version here is the newest version, but that is not really ready for production. It's more experimental. So you should not use this in production. Uh, the newest production version is the one called latest. So that's this one here. You can also see all the different versions if you want to downgrade to an earlier version. So you see we've got different versions and so on. So I'm just going to select the number of the latest version here. And I'm going to copy that, go to my Docker Compose file. We have already identified our NA10 service. And at the end here, I'm going to add a colon and paste in the version number, like so. And now I'm going to save this. And I showed you before that I opened up this terminal inside the directory of the Docker Compose file. And here we're going to just run Docker Compose down to shut down the current uh, NA10 installation. And we're gonna do Docker, compose up the for running it in background. And now we're gonna install uh, the NA10 from the Docker compose file, according to the instructions in Docker compose file. And since we have updated the instructions to use the new image version, it's now gonna install the new NA10 version. So it has already been installed. Now, if we go back to our NA10 dashboard here, I'm gonna refresh the page. And I'm going to go down here to help and look, click on about NA10. And you can see now that we got the new NA10 version here. 
So that's all you need to do to update the NA10. Now, if you want to downgrade the NA10, you would just select the version, the older version, and then open up the Docker terminal and do the same thing we just did. And that way you would downgrade NA10. Uh, so the only difference if you're gonna do this on a, a self-hosting platform like Coolify or Docploy or anything like that is that after finding in the settings how you can edit your Docker Compose file and editing it, uh, you will have usually a button that lets you redeploy or like start this says stop and start or something like that instead of you know running this docker commands like i did you will have a button that does that but the, that the rest is basically the same you find your docker compose file identify the any 10 image and just change the version and then redeploy it and that's all you have to do so uh yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything more like this and until next time take care